Number 25, the Bernie Madoff Ponzi scheme. This made the list not only for the sheer amount of money involved, at least $65 billion in clients' accounts, but because the people he conned are some of the smartest people in the world. They entrusted him with their charitable funds, but they were instead used for his luxurious lifestyle and personal gain. Number 24, Hell South. Organized and directed by the company's CEO, this financial hoax involved coming up with fictitious transactions and accounts to boost the company's earnings. The fraud embezzled $1.4 billion, which was reported as earnings from 96 to 2003. The company almost got away with it, but the CEO was acquitted by a quote-unquote friendly Alabama jury. But the prosecutors kept at it, and in 2006, he was convicted of bribery charges. Number 23, the Stanford financial fallout. While this fraud may not be as big as Madoff's Ponzi scheme in dollar terms, coming in at only $8 billion, it was still a case of trust misplaced. Stanford coaxed his clients to invest in a safe certificate of deposits, but the money was instead used in hedge funds that could and did lose money. Number 22. Tyco. Tyco International is a diversified manufacturing conglomerate that deals with electronic components, healthcare, fire safety, and a number of other things. In 2005, its CEO and CFO were found guilty of stealing $600 million from the company. These two symbolize the excesses of executive compensation at shareholders' expense, and the CEO will be remembered for the $2 million birthday bash he gave his wife on a Mediterranean island on the company's dime. Number 21, Lance Armstrong and the Livestrong Foundation. Lance is not only a Tour de France champion and the man behind the Livestrong Foundation, but he also owns several businesses and investments. His doping confessions, however, jeopardize not only his titles, but also all of his sponsorships and businesses. Number 20, Enron. Enron was the it company at the turn of the century, as it oozed with wealth, smarts, and power. However, this Houston-based energy conglomerate toppled into a spectacular bankruptcy due to a painstakingly planned accounting fraud made by its accounting firm, Arthur Anderson. Once considered a blue-chip stock, Enron shares dropped from $90 to $0.50, cents, which spelled disaster in the financial world, where thousands of employees and investors saw their savings vanish with the company as it filed for an earnings restatement in October of 2001. Number 19. Arthur Anderson. This Chicago-based company voluntarily relinquished its licenses to practice as certified public accountants in the USA due to the Enron accounting scandal. It was a blow considering that it's one of the world's top five accounting firms prior to the scandal, which resulted in the loss of 85,000 jobs in corporate rebranding. Number 18, Bear Stearns Companies Incorporated. This is one of the U.S.'s biggest government bailouts that helped avoid a domino effect in similar failures in the financial market. Ranking as one of the world's largest global investment banks, securities trading, and brokerage firms, Bear Stearns was nearly bankrupted before it sold itself to J.P. Morgan Chase for $2 a share or $240 million. Number 17, Swiss Air. The former national airline of Switzerland was grounded in October of 2001 due to a poor expansion move. With 30% of its shares in stocks owned by the Swiss government, the company implemented the Hunter Strategy a major expansion program. However, this resulted in a financial crisis that also affected its parent company, which was hurt by the September 11th attacks. As the entire Swiss Air fleet was grounded and officially dismantled in 2002, it was later acquired by Crossair. Number 16. Parmalat. This Italian company is the leading global producer of ultra-hot temperature milk and other foods. However, its founder, Callisto Tanzi, was accused of questionable accounting practices in 2003 when a 14 billion euro hole was discovered in the company's accounting records. This resulted in one of the biggest corporate scandals in history as he was selling credit-linked notes to the company and diverting the company's funds elsewhere. Number 15. Baninter. Banco Intercontinental, or Baninter, was the second largest privately held commercial bank in the Dominican Republic, whose demise resulted from fraud and political corruption in 2003. This caused the Dominican Republic's economy to go into a steep decline as fraudulent bookkeeping and political influence by the administration of former President Hippolito Mejia and all the major Dominican political parties resulted in $2.2 billion of a deficit, or equal to 12 or 15% of the country's GDP. Number 14. Adelphia Communications 
This Pennsylvania-based company was ranked as the fifth largest cable company in the U.S. before it yielded to bankruptcy in 2002 due to internal corruption. The company incurred $2.3 billion of debt and its founders were charged with security violations. John and Timothy Regas were sentenced to 15 to 20 years in prison, while five other officers were also indicted. Number 13. Global Crossing This company showed that an incredible scandal is not necessarily the end of the business road. In terms of assets, the company's bankruptcy can be considered the seventh largest filing in American history. The debt of $12.4 billion was amassed by four CEOs, where each was given $23 million in personal loans, which was ultimately forgiven. In 2004, however, the company began to show improved margins and ultimately bounced back. Number 12, HIH Insurance. Its corporate downfall can be considered the largest in Australia's history. HIH Insurance was Australia's second largest insurance company until it entered into provisional liquidation in 2001. It incurred losses totaling $5.3 billion when its director, Rodney Adler, was sentenced to four and a half years of jail time due to obtaining money by false or misleading statements and failure to discharge his duties as director in good faith. Number 11. Martha Stewart Stewart was a household name due to her endeavors as a business magnet, author, and magazine publisher. She's been very successful and has numerous best-selling books. However, she got entangled in the Imclone insider trading affair in 2002 and was indicted on nine counts of securities fraud and obstruction of justice. She was also able to bounce back, though, and regained her company in 2012. Number 10. The Deutsche Bank Spying Scandal Deutsche Bank AG is a German global banking and financial services company that was caught spying not only on its board members, but also on the personal life of some of its investors. The scandal hit the bank as it was not only Germany's largest bank, but the largest foreign dealer in the world with a presence in Europe, U.S., Asia Pacific, and the emerging markets. In 2006, it succumbed to paranoia when it hired an external detective agency to snoop on contacts between board members and the Munich-based media magnet Leo Kirch and his associates. Number 9. Urban Bank This was one of the largest banks in the Philippines until it was closed down by the Philippine Deposit Insurance Company. Several of its officers were later criminally charged with economic sabotage due to their falsified supervision and examination sector reports to the Monetary Board. Number 8. Jerome Curville and the Société Générale Banking Scandal Jerome is a rogue trader who tripped up the world's financial markets when his unauthorized trading in securities used the bank's computers to result in 4.9 billion euros of losses to the Société Générale funds. The worst part of the issue came when the bank's executives tried to mask the fraud by unwinding his trades. This resulted in panic all over the Atlantic, causing a decline in European markets. Number 7. Barclays It was one of the world's largest banks hammered by a scandal involving the LIBOR manipulation where banks lend each other money at high rates. The company owned up to the allegations that it manipulated the London Interbank Offered Rate, which was tied to trillions of dollars worth of financial contracts and derivatives. The issue led to the resignation of the company's CEO, and it was asked to pay $450 million. Number 6. BreeX This Canadian mining company bought a purported gold mine in Busang, Indonesia in March of 1993. In 1995, the company announced the discovery of a veritable treasure chest that soared the company's stock prices to 286 Canadian dollars on the Toronto Stock Exchange. However, this turned out to be the worst mining scandal of all time when it was discovered that workers and miners falsified crushed core samples by salting them with placer or super gene gold constitutes. Because of this, Briex fell down the mine shaft after its stocks became worthless. Number 5. Barings Bank It's the oldest merchant bank in the city of London and was founded by the German-born Baring family. This bank once handled the Queen's personal accounts and was also the financier of the Napoleonic Wars. The bank collapsed in 1995, however, when one of its employees, Nick Leeson, squandered and lost £827 million through speculative investing in future contracts at the bank's Singapore office. Number 4. The Hewlett Packard Spying Scandal Allegedly carried out at the behest of Hewlett Packard chairwoman Patricia Dunn, this was in connection with an information leak where she'd contracted a team of independent security experts to investigate some board members and several journalists by obtaining their phone records. 
It backfired, however, and resulted in Dunn's resignation as she was succeeded by CEO Mark Hurd. Number three, Siemens. Siemens AG and the Greek government went under fire for corruption and bribery, which involved the deal for security systems in the 2004 Summer Olympic Games in Athens. While no serious charges have been made, it's been claimed that the bribes may have been upwards of 100 million euros. Number two, Volkswagen. After its personnel manager, Klaus Joachim Gebauer, procured prostitutes for the firm's labor representatives under the guise that it was quote-unquote in the interests of the company, it's no surprise that Volkswagen came under some heavy fire. Number one, WorldCom. In 2002, an internal audit report showed that the company has been using fraudulent accounting methods to hide its declining financial condition. Its assets were inflated by around $11 million with $3.8 billion in fraudulent accounts. While the company was purchased by Verizon Communications and renamed Verizon Business Division, the scandal actually had a positive effect as the Sarbanes-Oxley Act was approved by the Senate to introduce the most sweeping new business regulations since the 1930s.